hello people so we are back with our new tutorial in previous tutorial we discussed how we define a function in a controller and call it on ui through ng tree in this tutorial we are going to uh, study the new thing that how we can pass any variable or any argument any parameter to a function so for that let us uh, write code for that first of all paste the google api then we will create one ng app my app let let us give the name as my app uh, let us create a div which will contain our controller okay so our div is ready uh, for accepting the body of the controller and showing uh, any controller variable on ui let us create one script tag like we have been doing from initial lectures where app equals to angular dot module the name of parent directive and let us create a script for the controller now app dot controller name of the controller comma function and let us define one uh, first of all let us pass dollar scope we will be using dollar scope variable here so dollar scope dot func function one equals to function see there are uh, two ways to pass any variable or any object from html to controller but we are going to discuss the second way means we will define some variable in controller only and then we will pass into the function because about objects we have not uh, created any tutorial till now in future we are planning to uh, put a, a tutorial in which we will discuss about creating object uh, playing with object passing object to any function so here uh, let us create two variable we will go through variable only so this is where one suppose it is 24 and dollar scope dot where 2 equals to some random number 2014 let us take and this function accepts two number that is num1 comma num2 it is similar to java script only that uh, we can uh, while passing any argument from here the variable will be according to this but when it will accept it, any argument we can create and this will accept the variable sent from ui so let us create uh, one function anchor tag uh, again let us put href equals to nothing this time let us take new thing so that uh, anchor tag will show its default behavior as uh, when you will hover over anchor tag it will show a hand and uh, the color will be blue that is the default behavior of any anchor tag and ng click equals to we will call the function that is fung1 and we will pass two parameters that is where one comma where two this will be picked from the controller whatever we have defined okay so now we have passed the two parameters and uh, click me for sum we on clicking this uh, anchor tag we want to find the sum of these two variables so we will it, it will call the function in the controller function one and it will pass where one as num one and where two whatever we have defined in controller and uh, this will be accepted by num two we are not going to print it so we will simply alert the sum so when we will click on this this will call the function this will uh, find the num1 and num2 with uh, variable 1 and variable 2 and will alert the sum so let us give some message sum is and plus num num1 plus num2 so this will what does when we will click on this function this will go search for the function it will pass the two parameters we are passing where one will go to num1 where 2 will go to num2 and uh, when this function will be called this will put an alert message uh, and that will be containing the sum of num and num2 so let us run this see when i clicked it it is showing the alert box that is the sum is 38 let us close this so you have understood that on clicking this call the function passed the where 1 and where 2 which has been defined inside the controller to num1 and num2 
and this is alerting the sum when you will, you will click it an alert box will come and the sum of the numbers will be printed so this is the concept of passing parameters to a function into controller the other way is to create an object and with that object you can uh, pass any value the either complete object you want to send you can send on uh, the value of any particular attribute of that object if you want to pass you can pass so we will discuss about objects also but in coming lectures right now just i wanted to show you that how parameters are sent to a function and then the function is called so see you in next lecture let's keep it short thank you see you in next lecture bye bye